Well, Paul, many congratulations on the victory. That feels like a big victory and was celebrated as such at the end. They all are. This, this stage of the season, we, we're running out of games, um, which is a good thing for us because we're in, in the position we want to be in. So, yeah, every time we can get a win, and get three points at this stage of the season, we're just making it that little bit harder for everyone else. But, um, long, long way to go. So many games we've got to play. We've seen results today and this stage of the season. Um, strange things happen in terms of results, performances, and I know that the players know that, which is a good thing. <clears throat> so we just try and focus on us and ourselves. And uh, yeah, I think I've been saying it the last couple of weeks we're we're going to be well into April, semi-final FA Cup, still chasing promotion. So what's not to enjoy now about these remaining games? A lot of Blades fans, though, will look at what's happened today and feel that it's actually been quite a swing in the Blades' favour now to be six points clear of Borough with that game in hand. Well, it is a swing in our favour, we know that, but it's like I've been saying all along, this gap will keep changing. Sometimes it's closed, sometimes it's opened up. And that'll continue because we can't mirror each other's results, you know? So, uh, yeah, we prepared for that. We know, we know that can happen, but we also know that sort of away from wherever we're playing, it's irrelevant, we can't control it. And whilst we welcome that result today, um, Luton had a good run, good result. They're right in the frame. Uh, yeah, so we just focus on us and, and our games and our performances. And like every time we can get a positive result, it's um, it, that, that margin for error with the chasing teams becomes smaller. What's your perspective on the goal that ultimately separates the two sides? I think it got down to whichever camera angle you see in the inches as to whether it's offside or not. Yeah, well, I've been told it's onside. I've just been told, yeah, it's onside, but. I've just said there, I'm quite upset about that because I feel uh, like we still owed a lot and I'd have, I'm not bothered how we score, we've won 1-0. <laughs> but like I say, I think we're owed a lot this season. We had one at Sunderland, didn't we, which if I were Tony, I'd have been upset about. But, you know, I haven't gone on about it a lot this season. But, you see, when we win, we're old, we're old many. We're old many. And if we get them between now and the end of the season, it can only help. So, yeah, if it was onside, I'm quite upset about that. Uh, but um, in terms of the performance, look, you created the most and restricted Norwich to very little, so it's a deserved <coughs> victory. Yeah, and, and listen, Norwich are dangerous. Uh, dangerous players, players from the Premier League last year, you know, that's the benchmark. But we wanted to win, we came here to win. Uh, we had to make a change at half-time. The front three, we couldn't get them close enough together. We had, we had tried to be brave, we tried to play, we did play. But we couldn't make things happen in the final third. Last pass, not connected enough. Um, we ate the bar, yeah, we had good moments, but I felt we didn't get control of the game as much as I would have liked. Even though you, I get we had the opportunity, we, we, we limited Norwich, but we needed to get the front two closer together. So Illiman weren't chasing back on this side, Maka weren't chasing on the other, and Ollie Mack weren't isolated. So we, we put Illiman up front with Ollie and then Maka into a midfield role. It just helps us block up the middle of the pitch and when we did play forward we had bodies closer together and I felt it, I felt it helped but I felt his best moments came after we went 1-0 up because Norwich have to come out that little bit more so we did have opportunities then on the counter and when they were uh, chasing the game but I thought we, regardless of that, I thought we saw the game out well and, and it was in the, they had that one shot Marquinhos which moved Wesley well but apart from that we, we saw the game out really, really well. Uh, how more perhaps content to you with the, the overall performances following on from Sunderland, obviously the cup win, and then again today, just with the standard of everybody and how they're playing. Yeah, yeah listen, yeah, a lot said, and, it, and results will always dictate. So it's not dissimilar to a lot, you know, but we've won, we've come to a tough place and won. I think there's two things that stand out. <clears throat> we're playing quicker and braver, we're playing with the ball quicker, we're trying to move the ball quicker and, and, and demanding off each other to take the ball. If we, if we lose a ball, if we give it away and they score, so what? That's my fault. But we're certainly doing that and that's evident. So on the eye it looks better. And there's a, a lot more aggression about us in terms of that intent to win the ball back again high again. If we overcommit every now and again and they get through us and get a chance, that's on me. But I think you could see first half the amount of times we won the ball back in, in Norwich's half. So that's how we want to play. Um, so I think they're the two things which I would say has been better. But they've also been there in other games when we've when we've been beat because it can't always go our way. So, yeah, we, we're pleased with with what we're doing. We're pleased where we're at. Um, but as I say, a long way to go, and, and it's on to the next and a, and a tough weekend, the Easter weekend, and it usually looks uh, 
yeah, after those two games, Easter weekend, it usually looks, you get a good idea where you're at.